Hi, my name's Rita Crompton, or Inventor Lady as I'm known around here. I run the Inventors Roundtable. Our website is www.inventorsroundtable.com. We are passionate about our motto, Don't Spend a Dime Before It's Time, and our goal is to help inventors get from the I have an idea stage to market, either through licensing or manufacturing, um, and in the same, same time period, help them avoid making any fatal mistakes. The first mistake that we see is trying to get a patent too soon. Um, I am not a patent attorney, and you will at some point need to consult with a patent attorney. The first thing to understand is that you may not e even need to get a patent. Um, this is not always the best course. You really need to understand your product and your market. You also need to understand what has been done in the past. Um, so spend some time doing your own search. On the very front of our website, the Inventors Roundtable, down at the bottom right hand corner, there is a patent search tutorial that will help you get through the USPTO website. It will really help you see if there's any prior art, um, let you know whether or not you should really keep your day job, or the, whether or not you should proceed. The next step is to hire a professional search company to do a patent search for you. The real good ones, they're going to run about $500 for a basic search, but they'll do not only the U.S. but internationally as well. Um, some of them will actually include a product search um, from the Internet. It's real important to understand that if it has been patented at any time, anywhere in the world, you cannot get a patent in the U.S. on that product. Um, but like I said, just because it has been done before doesn't mean that you can't make it. just means you can't get a patent on it. The other piece that, that inventors often misunderstand is that if you go in and you talk to a patent attorney and they file a patent for you, somehow that makes you successful or that means you're going to be successful. And nothing could be further from the truth. We see people spend thousands and thousands of dollars on a patent on a product that will never ever get to market. Um, one of our inventors actually was issued a patent on a product that was just impossible to make. But it wasn't necessarily her patent attorney's job to tell her that. Um, it's your job as the inventor to make sure you understand all of the idiosyncrasies of your invention before you file the patent. One of the things that we recommend is that the patent attorney you decide to work with has to be willing to talk to and work with your engineer or the person who's going to build your prototype for you. If these two people are disconnected, it isn't unusual that you will end up having a patent that doesn't match the final prototype. Now you're not protected and your patent just becomes real expensive wall art. The patenting process is complicated. Even when you get your search back, it's, it's very difficult for the average inventor to understand what the claims are. And that's really the meat and potatoes of the patent. Um, so when you get your search back, now you need to consult with the patent attorney to really understand what is the prior art telling you? Um, can you design your product around the prior art? Um, and, and decide how to proceed then with the patenting process. So if you've got any questions, if you need some help from us at the Inventors Roundtable, we have some patent attorneys we work with on a regular basis. You can go into our website at www.inventorsroundtable.com, log into the forum, and ask your patenting questions at that time, and one of our patent attorneys would be more than happy to get back to you. Good luck with your inventing process, and if there's anything that we can do for you, please contact us. Thank you.